when you talk about movies, you're talking about Martin Scorsese. From emerging director at the forefront of New Hollywood to national treasure, Martin Scorsese's cinematic brush expanded the canvas. His far-reaching influence has shaped not only the American film canon, his boundless passion for the art form has salvaged countless masterworks, some familiar, others less so, from the brink of loss. Movies took hold at a young age. I remember quite clearly, it was 1946 and I was four years old, my mother took me to see King Vidor's Duel in the Sun. The opening titles alone, I was mesmerized. Bright blasts of deliriously vibrant color, the gunshots, the savage intensity of the music, the burning sun. You don't have to stay around here anymore, do you? Don't never have to do nothing. A flawed film, but nevertheless, the hallucinatory quality of the imagery has never weakened for me over the years. Martin Scorsese's love of cinema was perhaps the kind of devotion that Susan Sontag once described as being born of the conviction that cinema was an art unlike any other, quintessentially modern, distinctively accessible, poetic and mysterious, and erotic and moral. As Sontag wrote, cinema was both the book of art and the book of life. Scorsese would become a director with resounding effect. His works abound with references to the old masters who came before him. In 73, it was a, a practice of, you know, reviewing older films or getting prints of pictures to see, to study, to be inspired by. And you know that you fight for the lost causes harder than for any others. And one night, myself and a number of other uh, friends of mine, uh, filmmakers, went to see uh, a double bill of Niagara and The Seven Year Itch. Uh, when The Seven Year Itch was presented, Ron Haver came out and apologized in advance because he said the film is faded. And uh, we were shocked by the condition of the print. So really, that began a, a, a series of mishaps where we would call up a print to take a look at something and we would see it and it would be as bad as that, maybe worse, or no prints available at all. Oh, my dear, dear friends, whatever would I do without you? Spurred by the deteriorating condition of these invaluable films, Scorsese took action and unified fellow filmmakers, studio heads, and archivists to work towards the common goal of preserving and restoring motion picture history. And in 1990, the Film Foundation was born. I think the most important thing about this foundation was that it raised the level of consciousness of those in control of the studios. It's beyond who owns the film, it's about our cultural heritage. To date, the foundation has preserved over 800 films, ranging from indelible classics to little-known yet vital projects. The scope of Scorsese's endeavors extends well beyond the film vault. Classrooms across the country benefit from the enriched curriculums provided by the Story of Movies program. It places the context of the stories a certain historical period, which is important for younger people to be exposed to for the first time in a very, a very powerful way. And endangered films from across the globe endure thanks to the World Cinema Project. And so I think that's valuable to everyone in the world, to get everybody's points of view, to understand life as they see it, not just as we see it. And the work continues, all thanks to one visionary, who has imprinted cinematic history on our consciousness. I find that over the years, many films address themselves to the spiritual side of man's nature. It's as if movies answered an ancient quest for the common unconscious. They fulfill a spiritual need that people have to share a common memory. Martin Scorsese's importance to cinema cannot be overstated. All the splendor of this transformative craft will go on to reach audiences. As we evolve, the universal language of moving pictures will remain everlasting. Turner Classic Movies proudly presents the inaugural Robert Osborne Award to director Martin Scorsese for his longtime dedication to preserving and protecting motion picture history. <laughs>